it's great to have you on the show. I mean, we've had this banking crisis over the last couple of weeks. We know deposits have been moving out of smaller banks into larger ones, but we've also seen record inflows into money market funds. Have you been benefiting as well? We have, absolutely. Uh, thank you, Morgan, so much for having me. It's always a pleasure. Uh, we are seeing, this is our highest quarter on record for inflows overall, which has really been powered by the cash reserve product, um, which is our high yield cash account. Uh, in terms of that high yield cash account, you doubled FDIC insurance for eligible clients that are using that. Um, why did you decide to do that? Has that added to the demand for the product? Yes, absolutely. So we, you know, after we saw the, the sort of what we'll call the banking crisis start to unfold, what we heard from our customers is they were looking for safety, they were looking for yield, and they were looking for liquidity. And our cash product really provided all three already, but we saw an opportunity to raise those FDIC limits and we now offer $2 million limits for individual accounts and $4 million for joint accounts. And so if you imagine a couple coming together, they could actually uh, qualify for $8 million in FDIC insurance, which, you know, who knew that FDIC insurance was something that the average investor was going to come to understand and really care about? But the minute we saw that and heard that from our customers, we thought there was a great opportunity to build on the trust we have and they have with us and, and offer that security for them. Yeah, I mean, you just touched on it, but are you seeing more and more clients on your platform chasing yield? And if so, how are they doing that? We absolutely are. So we right now are offering 4.2% yield in a in our cash accounts, which again is a completely liquid account. And the way we're able to do that is through a sweep account with 12 different program banks. And that's why we're able to offer a higher FDIC limit. Um, and so what we've been seeing really is that the lion's share of customer deposits are either going into cash or going into retirement. And the place in the short term where they're putting fewer funds is in taxable investing accounts. All right. Have people changed their risk profile? And I ask that because you're a robo-investor. You go on, you sort of d decide uh, as a client, you decide, you know, what your risk appetite is. And then the options are put in front of you uh, accordingly. Have you found that with all of the market mayhem, all of the volatility, folks have been reassessing or rethinking um, what they're willing to do and how they're willing to do it? So I think in general, I would say yes, in that the sort of risk off posture is why we're seeing so much activity in the cash inflows. But I would also say that as a robo advisor, one of the sort of philosophical underpinnings of what we offer is about long term diversification and providing sort of a port in the storm in times of volatility. And so we've also seen very interestingly, historic low outflows. So I would say outflows low and inflows shifting more risk off.